I'm Annie. I'm a habit coach. If you'd like to book a call with me, you can find my information in the description. So I read a really cool book this week it's called The One Thing. I'll put a link to that book in the description. This is a great book for goal achievement. It offers a way to think about identifying high leverage habits that are going to help you reach your goal. So sometimes we have goals and we are really busy doing a whole lot of actions towards that goal. But what can happen sometimes, one or two of those actions actually have a higher impact in terms of allowing us to reach our goal. And many of the other actions are just busy work. So we're really busy with a lot of activities, but we're not necessarily identifying the high leverage habits that are the most important to allow us to reach our goal. So when you're trying to identify these habits, you want to think about the activities that you can do that will help you move closer to your goal, that when you do them, they make other activities easier or possibly unnecessary. So for an example, I'm focused on building my coaching business right now. I could do a whole lot of things. I could study. I could take more courses and certifications. I could build a sales funnel. I could take a course on understanding Facebook advertising and go the advertising route in order to build my business. There's a whole bunch of stuff I could do and it would be really easy for my focus to go kind of soft. Just do a whole bunch of things and be really busy and working really hard but not really getting anywhere. So the idea is is to think about your goal, brainstorm the actions that you think are going to get you to that goal, and then look through that list and really think hard about which of those habits has the most leverage. So in that example, building a business, the number one thing that I can do that has the most impact is create content and post content consistently. So prior to building this coaching business, I was really focused on my handmade business. And in that case, it was a similar thing. I make ceramic jewelry. Jewelry. Nobody has to hold a gun to my head to make me create ceramic jewelry. I'm going to do that anyway because I find it really relaxing. But the number one thing that improved that business and improved sales was doing product photography and listing the items because no matter how much ceramic jewelry I make, no one can buy it if it's not listed. And so once those high leverage habits are identified, you can make sure that you do those first. Do those first in the day. Now, the only exception to that is your basic health and wellness stuff. That's always going to come first. I like to get some fitness and exercise done first in the day. Other people might be different. They might prefer to work out in the afternoon or whatever. That's just how I work. After I finish my exercise, I do the most important thing in the first half of the day. Sitting down and writing for a while, content creation, maybe filming a video. Creating the content is the number one activity. It's also the activity that I have the most most resistance to. I sit down to write and I feel blocked. I feel like I'm not very articulate. The outlines of the videos are not very clear, but I prioritize that and do that first and get it over with for the day. And then everything after that in the day is easier. So filming the video, have a little bit more resistance to that, but not as much as outlining the content. And then editing, it's not the funnest thing in the world, but I don't have a whole lot of resistance to it. You know, I can go to a coffee shop, get an herbal tea, sit there and edit for a couple hours and it's somewhat relaxing. So that's my number one focus, creating content, posting consistently. When I post every day, people reach out to me in my DMs. I have meaningful conversations with people. I make connections. Then people want to work with me. So if I were to distract myself with Facebook advertising or a sales funnel, I would really just be wasting my own energy. So you can think about this in terms of different realms of your life as well. What is the most important, highest leverage thing you can do for your career? What is the most important highest leverage thing that you can do for your health? What about your relationship, your spirituality? Identify the number one thing and focus on that and it's going to have a larger impact towards reaching your goal. So what you can do is think about your goal in terms of one year. Where would you like to be in one year? And then just work backward. What is the one highest leverage habit that you can do over the course of this year to help you reach that goal in one year? Cut that in half. What about six months? What is the one most most important thing to focus on in the next six months. And then you work your way down to the month and then the week and then today. So I think about this stuff as I'm doing my morning journaling. What is the number one most important thing that I can do today? I typically go ahead and get that thing done before lunch because then the rest of the day is easier, more relaxing. It sounds kind of obvious, but I wasn't exactly thinking about it this way until I read this book. 
So I thought it was helpful and it was a good wake up call for me to sort of audit what are the activities that I'm doing that are trying to get me to my goal and which ones of those activities just really aren't that important and which ones are the most important and how can I do more of that most important thing every day. So I highly recommend this book, The One Thing. If you buy it and then you sign up, you have to give your email, but it comes with a PDF that sort of steps you through these clarifying exercises so you can really identify your goals and identify the high leverage habits that are going to help you get there.